Welcome. So, yesterday I had a wonderful time in the Lord, and He reminded me of something that He taught me years ago, and so I want to share that with you guys today, and I know that you'll be blessed by it. So, just to give a picture, you meet somebody for the first time, you guys go out on a date, you're sitting across from each other, she looks you in the eye, and she goes, I love you. I hope that the very first opportunity and chance that you get to lock eyes with the waiter, that you'll go, check please. Because something is not right with this picture. <laughs> we don't automatically just meet somebody and just say, I love you and passionately mean it. And so this brings me to my lesson in the Lord. I know that a lot of people have prayer closets. Mine is my bathroom. I spend a lot of time in my bathroom just meditating and thinking and, and singing and all of that good stuff. And I remember one day, years ago, I was in the bathroom and I went to say, I love you, Lord. And then the thought came, do you really love him? I mean, I don't know if I really, really love you. And the more I thought about it, I found that like I started to hang my head low. And then the Holy Spirit rose up in me and he said, the real part of you absolutely loves me, absolutely loves me. And I was like, wow, okay, I, I could dig that. And he said to me, do you love the way that I love you? And I was like, yeah, I love the way that you love me. And he said, well, hold on to that. So every time I was excited, every time, you know, I saw his kindness or experienced his kindness and his love towards me, I, I would be quick to say, Lord, I love the way that you love me. I love the way you love me. And that began to grow in my spirit and it overflowed into my soul. And I found myself one day saying, Lord, I, I love you. It wasn't anything forced. It's not God twisting my arm to be obedient and obey the command to love me. Because I'm God. But he knew that if I could hold on to the fact that he loves me and I love the way that he loves me, he knows that in turn my response will eventually blossom into love. And he worded it in a way to where my heart, my faith could grab hold of it. But he still gave me scripture. This is love, not that we love God, but that God loved us and he gave his son um, as an offering for us. So um, if you're feeling like, I don't know if I love God, I, I know that I'm supposed to, but I don't really know that I mean it when I say it, then grab hold of this. Love the way that he loves you and allow that to blossom and bloom within you. And eventually, one day, that will grow into, Lord, I love you with all my heart, all my mind, all my strength, because the real part of you, the recreated spirit part of you is born of God. It is born out of his love. And, it, and scripture even tells us that it cries out, Abba, Father. So just grab hold of the love of God for you and run. So that's pretty much all I wanted to share. I know that you've been blessed in your hearing, and as always, grace and peace.